And on today's show, we're highlighting the practices of Briggs Matsko and John Curry. Part three of this week's series featuring retirement income masters with top of the table and MDRT platform speaker, Tom Hegna. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician in Innsmark. Let's get down to business. Well, welcome to day three. Thanks, Steve. Well, of course, we're taking all these stories right out of Tom's book, Retirement Income Masters, The Secrets of the Pros. You can get this on Amazon.com or on your site, which is TomHagnett.com. And of course, audio file if you want to do listen to this on your way in. Right. This is really great. These are people that are proven producers, top of the game. They're top of the right. game. And these ideas, which I thought, you know, I've been in this business 30 years. I figured I'd have this all down. There were tons of little concepts in here that I thought were just the way they presented was different and their approaches will really help your practice. Let's talk about the first one, Briggs. Tell yeah. me a little bit about this guy because he's kind Look, of got a little reputation. Briggs is a top of the table guy. Um, he's been in the business for many years and he's probably formalized this process as good as anybody I've seen, all right? And he's got his ease process and these are patented processes that he has but where you envision, then you analyze, then you come up with the solutions and then you evaluate. I mean, that's his ease process. Mm -hmm. He's also got this uh, retirement income matrix, which lines up exactly with what I talk about. Mm -hmm. He calls it core expenses. I call it basic expenses. Mm -hmm. He calls it joy expenses. I call it optimized, you know, to cover your, your discretionary mm -hmm. expenses. And then legacy, leaving a legacy uh, with, with life insurance and, and long-term care. Now, I want to go back to this one start because I think some people always go, well, I'm into sales. Well, you can't be into sales at this level without a process. Right. Now, he copy wrote, I mean, this is, this is copyrighted. So he right. has produced this process. This procedure has proven time and again to be fruitful. Right. He has laid this out. Do you think, I'm just, I'm just asking you, Tom, you get to go all over the country, all over the world. Do you think a lot of producers, we, I, I think we lack a process. I think that's one of the key issues. We think it's product. We have plenty of product. Right. Plenty well, of knowledge. And very similar to John Schwann, who's a process driven, Briggs is process driven. He's not product driven. Mm -hmm. And so they bring people in their process, they work them through, and, and they try to kind of see the future. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and here's what your future looks like if you keep going down this path. Here's some things we could do that would change that future. So he, he tries to show them what their future is going to look like. Mm -hmm. What do you mean when you use this phrase in your book? He, I noticed you said he, he calls it kind of his retirement security centers. I love well, that. Well, he's actually developed these retirement security centers where advisors can become part of these retirement security centers around the country. And, and partner with them. Yeah, he's building them all around the country. And so he's really taken this to a new level, uh, the next level. And so mm -hmm. he's probably, out of any of the producers in here, formalized the whole process the most. Okay, so if an advisor wanted to partner with him and be part of his retirement security centers, they will actually be using his process, patented right. process, and walk through it. You know, it's so funny. Over all these years, I've seen people that come up with really good processes. Then we introduce advisors into it, and they want to break formula. Right. You know, no, I think he would have very strict discipline on, mm -hmm. on their process because this is a proven process that has worked for years. Now, when you talk about visualizing, you know, I mean, I, 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 it's kind of like a psych term to me. But you're really showing people, this is, these, see these numbers? See this, what we're doing here? That is what it's going to look like. Right. How many people actually see that? I mean, well, you know. he takes them right in and he's got a computer screen where they take them right to the future and show them what it is. There's a case study in the book. He had a couple from California and they had big dreams of retirement, but they didn't have as big of a portfolio. <laughs> so he helped them visualize their future and they saw themselves running out of money at a certain age and they mm -hmm. said, whoa, we've got to change this. And so, you know, between a combination maybe of doing a little more work or saving a little more money, retiring a little later, mm -hmm. they, they, they were able to at least see how their retirement would work for them. So, so what I got out of that is, is his process actually is a discovery process that reveals the true condition of the client's retirement. Right. I mean, that's good that's or bad. The, I mean, bad, they'll right? lay it out. Here's what it is right now. Now, here's what we'd recommend to mm -hmm. make it the way that you want it. Now, you've known Briggs for a little while. If you had to say, well, how did he get this? How did he study this so much that he actually made a process and then copyrighted? Well, you know, he's got a long history of going back, and, and I think he was kind of doing a lot of 503Cs and, and mm -hmm. uh, 403Bs in, in the healthcare market, and he started billing. He, he did a lot of personal appointments, like thousands and thousands, and he speaks at MDRT. So, I mean, he's an MDRT speaker. He's a, he's a top of the table qualifier, and he's just got the experience. He's helped mm -hmm. many, 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 many people retire successfully. Okay, so if, if people want to actually think about it, if advisors say, boy, I'd love to see his process, I might even want to be part of this retirement security center. You, he could actually contact those people. Yeah, they, they, he can reach out. They can reach out to his office, and they, they'll get they'll get them in. Again, uh, we're talking about Briggs. He's <laughs> in the book, and Tommy's book, Retirement Income Masters: The Secrets of the Pros. 
This is one guy, if you're saying, hey, I've been looking for a process guy, maybe this guy's the way to go. We come back from the break. We're going to touch on another person, John Kerry's practice. This is going to be pretty good. John Kerry is really a, a guy that I think a lot of our audience is going to be say, I can relate to that guy. We'll be right back after this uh, message. Back in the day, life insurance professionals were called field underwriters. Then, carriers trained their field force in the basics of life insurance underwriting. Today, the insurance industry doesn't educate the agent population as they once did. But now, you can have the informed risk guide at your fingertips so you can illustrate a reasonable rate class for your life insurance prospects. Just request your copy of the informed risk guide at downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. It's free from Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. Well, welcome back to our second segment. Of course, I'm with Tom Hagna, MDRT platform speaker and top of the table. I, I, I'm looking at your book with all these players. There's about 14 people in here that we're doing a quick study on when you read this book. And today we're talking about John Curry. Now, John, he kind of a unique guy. I have to say, we've been talking about all these guys all this week. He's different. He's into a whole other thing. And his line is, you need to see the end game. His line, I think it's called, begin with the end in mind. Talk right, about that. Right. Well, John's a, John's a very um, simple guy down in Florida. He has a, a, he has a practice with mm -hmm. a lot of middle-income seniors in Florida. He kind of got started in the Florida uh, employees, uh, government employees, and he could learn mm -hmm. that system. And then he's expanded. He does a lot of seminars uh, around Florida. But um, he really focuses on giving the people what they want. And a lot of them need some more guaranteed lifetime income. When I think about seeing the end in mind, do you think people are, can visualize this? We talked a little bit about this in the first segment. People kind of need to see, I'm going to probably live to more than 90, right? It's not going to be 81. Right. I'm going to be living into my 90s. I need to visualize the end, not, not the beginning of my retirement. What's that end going to look like? Right. And, and do, you have the right, do you have the right products for the end of your life? Things mm -hmm. like long-term care, things like life insurance that can go to your family. And see, a lot of people say, well, what does life insurance have to do with retirement? It doesn't have anything to do with retirement. No, it has everything to do mm -hmm. with retirement. See, it's the life insurance you come into retirement with that gives you the license to spend the rest of your money. Mm -hmm. See, too many people live a just-in-case retirement because they, they don't touch their money, they don't touch because they're saving it just in case, just mm -hmm. in case, just in case, and they want to leave some money to their kids. And so they never end up enjoying mm -hmm. what they should in mm -hmm. retirement. And John knows this, and so he can set up life insurance that goes to kids. That frees you up to spend the rest of your money. I, and I've heard you talk about this many times uh, where you're looking at, you want to bless people, you want to take care of your kids and grandkids, you can do legacy planning once you've committed to that premium stream the rest of your money is freed up the kids know what they're getting it's all written down it's ready to go right. if you have anything left over ah, it's gravy to me though this is this about john this guy everybody tells me today that people are like we're not doing retail seminars this guy lives doing retail yes. seminars he does a lot of retail seminars and he does a lot of pension maximization now you and i grew up with pension maximization right. and, I did. you know you take the you take the life only get the higher payment take the take the reduced amount that you would have had for a joint survivor you put that in by life insurance so that if you die she's got he or she's got life insurance to to, to live their mm -hmm. life and you can but but if they die first and you got the higher paycheck we all grew up on pension mm -hmm. maximization but it's it's gone a little bit by the wayside but but mm -hmm. he talks about it you know which option should you take? Should you take the one where it's life only? Should you take it with a joint and survivor at 50% or 75%? Mm -hmm. And he walks them through their choices and lets them decide. He doesn't try to push one solution on them, mm -hmm. but he really goes over their options. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of advisors don't sit down and go over the options that mm -hmm. people are going to have with their retirement plans. Well, I have to say, after uh, spending some time with uh, with one of our favorite people, we're going to be talking about him tomorrow, Curtis Cloak, I, I did not realize all the options I had. Right. I mean, when he brought it to the table, that's another thing, too. You want to see the menu of alternatives. You want to be able to look at all your options, put it on the table, and talk about the benefits of the math. Here's the math in every scenario. What's the best benefit of that mathematical stream, that income stream, for you? I have a question, though. Uh, he, he talks about this thing, seven mistakes people make in retirement. Yeah, uh, but those are big ones. I, I wish I, I wish I had a couple slides. We could have thrown it up on yeah, the board. Yeah, we could here. have put it. But but number one, <laughs> underestimating life expectancy, and I think we know that's true. Totally paying too much in taxes, not planning on the impact of inflation, the silent thief, relying on government and employer retirement plans, not preparing for health care expenses and long term care, not saving enough on a personal basis, and focusing on financial products instead of strategic planning. Wow, now the finance, not focusing on it. Right. Well, how, th those are seven mistakes. If we were able to 
think about using his seven ideas, in other words, the mistakes, I'm going to stay away from them, right? If I could do those seven as a producer, if I was doing a, too bad we're not doing a consumer show on this because we could tell people these are the seven mis right. the mistakes that consumers make. When I'm looking at a guy like John, who's really brought this out, this is another producer who's laid out in this book something that you can do every day that would really keep you on the straight and narrow. I think sometimes we get off the, the right. track. We just say, hey, remember, am I, am I making this mistake? Am I making that mistake? I think listing them out. When you talk about John, tell me a little bit about because, you know, he's into, he's into everything that we're all into. He talks about wealth building, wealth distribute, but, but wealth conservation. His strategies conserve wealth. It actually frees up more money to invest in the market, which sounds counterintuitive. Right, but 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 see, when you use these products in the most efficient way possible, mm -hmm. you have more money to invest. You can take risk. But if all your money's in the market, you're scared to death by taking risk. Mm -hmm. But if you've got guaranteed income, if you've got your legacy taken care of, if you've got your long-term care taken care of, you can let the markets go up and down. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. Remember, before moving forward with any of the ideas you hear on our show, always consult your tax advisor, legal counsel, or your broker-dealer compliance department. Hey, missed any episode? Just go out to downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. And remember, you could be wiser as an Ash Brokerage advisor. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you tomorrow.